Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of organic name reactions. In our last lecture, we have studied about Kanizaro reaction and now we are studying about the Clay-Manson reduction. Actually, Clay-Manson reduction is one of the very important ways to convert the carbonyl groups of the aldehyde or ketones to the methylene group. It means carbonyl group can be converted to methylene group or we can write it like this. This is the carbonyl group okay, and this is converted to methylene group like this CH2 group okay and this is happening with the help of amalgamated zinc it means zinc Hg in the presence of concentrated HCl okay. So whenever the aldehyde or ketones are reacted with amalgamated zinc in the presence of concentrated HCl then they are converted to the hydrocarbons. This reaction is known as the Clemenson reduction. For example, C6H5 C double bond O CH3. Okay, this is treated with zinc Hg in the presence of HCl and actually this reaction happens by refluxing. Okay, we have to reflux the compound with the amalgamated zinc and excess of concentrated HCl. Okay, so that we are getting C6H5 CH2 CH3. And this reduction is very useful when the ketones are having the phenolic or the carboxylic group. Because the carboxylic group or the phenolic group that are present with the ketone groups remains unaffected. Okay, so whenever you have given the phenolic group and the COOH group, any group you have given, and you have given a carbonyl compound and you have to convert that to the CH2 group, then you can do it with the help of Clemenson reduction. You have noticed that the same reaction, this carbonyl group to methylene group can also be done with the Wolf-Kishner reduction. Okay, both the reactions give the same result, but Clemenson reduction is easier to perform. And secondly, we use Wolf-Kishner reduction when we have given the acid sensitive groups because this Clemenson reduction cannot be used. This cannot be used when you have given the acid sensitive groups like OH group. Okay, whenever you have given such type of groups, then you cannot use it. Okay, now see its mechanism. Actually, several mechanisms has been suggested for this, but the mechanism given by Nakabayaski. This scientist gave a mechanism that is most properly used. Okay. Actually, in this mechanism, what is said that firstly, this carbonyl compound get react with the acid and it get protonated. Okay. It undergoes protonation and then it will get the proton and then it will get the electrons from the metal. It means zinc. So, how this reaction is happening? See this carbonyl group get protonated with the help of the protons of the acid okay this is resonance stabilized so we can write it in this manner okay now it is getting the electrons from zinc and zinc is converted to zinc plus 2 so that we are getting r c o h r there will be a negative charge on it. Okay. Now it again get protonated. So we are getting R C H R C L. This is getting protonated two times. So we are getting OH2 group. Okay. This will get removed as H2O. So a water molecule is eliminated. We are getting R C H are positive. Now this again take the protons from the metal. So metal again get converted to zinc plus 2. Okay. So what we are getting? R C H R. There will be a negative charge. Okay. This will react with H plus and it get converted to the hydrocarbon. So, this is the whole mechanism of the Clemenson reduction. Now, see its applications. 
feeds application firstly it can be used for the reduction of aliphatic and mixed aliphatic aromatic carbonyl compounds for example ch3 ch2 whole 5 cho it is treated with zinc hg and scl then we are getting ch3 ch2 whole 5 ch3 okay similarly c6 h5 co c3 s7 ketone this is treated with zinc hg or scl it is converted to c6 h5 ch2 c3 s7 secondly it can be used for introducing the straight chain without rearrangement alkyl groups in the aromatic rings it means suppose we have given a ring like this this is benzene ring okay and we have to introduce a straight chain in it then what we can do we can treat it with ch3cocl so that here it get acetylated cocs3 like this okay and then we can undergo its clemenson reduction okay as a result we are getting a chain in the benzene ring okay thirdly it can be used for the reduction of keto acids c6h5 co ch2 ch2 cooh this undergoes clemenson reduction and we get c6h5 ch2 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 cooh but one thing you should remember here that alpha and beta keto acids cannot be reduced by this method cannot be reduced next it can be used for the reduction of phenolic carbonyl compounds it means if in a compound a phenolic group is present and this is cho group then it can be reduced with zinc hg and scl so we are getting oh group here and ch3 group here secondly it can be used for the reduction of cyclic ketones it is treated with alcl3 then it is forming this reacts with zinc hg and scl and it forms this type of compound one more example see here co ch2 ch2 cooh it can react with zinc hg and scl secondly with socl2 then it forms ch2 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 cocl it can react with alcl3 then it forms group like this okay it can again react with zinc hg and scl firstly okay and secondly we can do its reaction with selenium we can heat it with selenium so that we are getting naphthalene okay so this method provides a route for the synthesis of naphthalene okay so these are some of the reactions that are based on the clemenson reduction okay these are some of the applications of the clemenson reduction so this is all about the clemenson reduction meets you in the next video if you are liking my videos please comment me please share the videos and please subscribe the channel if you want some more name reactions you can comment me thank you